so hi everyone in this video we'll be discussing the problem nearly sorted array the problem says that we'll be given an array which will be consisting of n elements and basically the the special property is that every element in this array is at most or you or you can say every element in this array is maximum k distance away from its actual target position in the sorted array so we have to use this property and we have to make sure that finally we re we return the sorted array in the optimal fashion so we cannot use the direct sort method that is inbuilt in all the languages here that is not allowed otherwise uh, it will be done directly so basically let's say we have been given this particular test case so let's quickly discuss the test case uh, one that has been given to us okay so let me quickly paste this out uh, okay so let's say we have been given the array that is uh, nothing but firstly we have been given six then we have been given the element five then we have been given what we have been given three then we have been given two then after that we have been given what we have been given eight then we have been given ten and then we have been given what we have been given nine as well so k value is given as three here. okay now what will happen here is uh, if you see this is the given array okay so zero one two three four five six i'm writing the actual indexing right now and in the sorted array how these elements would look like let's have a uh, let's let's quickly write them so basically in the sorted array the elements will be 2 then it will be 3 then you'll be having 5 then you'll be having 6 then you'll be having 8 then you'll be having 9 and then after that you'll be having 10 so you'll be having the elements in this particular order here okay now what is going to happen next now after this like if you'll observe so like uh, if i'll write the indexing again for these elements uh, so the indexing will be what here the indexing is 0 1 2 3 4 five six so this is the sorted array you can see that two is maximum at a distance of three k value is given as three now so actually two is present at the index three in the normal array but in the sorted array two is expected at the zeroth position so it is maximum at a how at how much distance uh, uh, away from the original sorted position it is at three distance away maximum then you can see three is also uh, less than equal to k distance away then after that five is also less than k distance away and after that you can see six is also uh, only exactly three distance away that is k distance away okay same goes for other elements eight is at its position nine is one distance away ten is one distance away so no element in this array is more than k distance away every element is maximum k distance away from their sorted position how can i do this whenever you get such a problem where you have been asked to find ks largest element or ks uh, k sorted array then you should use heaps okay so here in this problem since we want to sort this array so we want the elements in the ascending order so that is why I'll use a minimum heap here and inside the heap what I'll try to do is we know that the minimum heap does what? The minimum heap always gives us the uh, minimum element at the top. Okay. So in my heap I will not allow more than k elements at any point of time. Okay. And what will happen because of this is we'll maintain a heap which will not have more than k elements. So we'll maintain a min heap which in which we will never allow more than k elements. And whenever more than k elements are there inside the min heap then we'll pop them out. So let's let's write this. So suppose this is our min heap that we have. So let let's say this that uh, let us say this is my min heap that I have. Now what will happen here is uh, firstly we'll insert the elements. So we'll not allow more than k elements inside the heap. Whenever more than k elements are there, we'll pop the uh, top out and we'll put it in our in our answer. Okay. So firstly we have six. We'll put it. Then after that we have got five. Then we'll put five as well. Then after that we have got three. We'll put it as well. Still the size of the heap is under control. Then after that I'll put two. Now the size of the heap becomes greater than k because the size of the heap is 4 and we have got only 3 elements. So now we'll pop this guy out. Uh, the minimum guy will be removed. So 2 will come inside the answer. Then next up we'll insert 8. After inserting 8 again the size of the heap becomes greater than k. So what we will do is we'll remove this particular element 3 and we'll push it inside the uh, queue here. Okay. Then after that what will happen? We'll be at this element 10. We'll put 10 inside the heap and now still the size is greater than k. So now which element will be popped out? The minimum. So 5 will get popped out. So 5 will come out and we'll store it in our answer. And after that the next element that we'll have is 9. So 9 will be inserted inside the queue. Now after inserting 9 inside the queue, which element uh, will come out? Because the size is greater than k. So 6 will come out. Okay. So top guy will come out. Minimum will be 6. So it will come out. So you can see here that I'm not allowing more than k elements at any point of time inside the heap. And in inside the heap, if the if I'm allowing the heap size to be k only, not more than k, so for every time for taking out an element or you can say the heap 5 process will take log of k time for one insertion or deletion or for one push or pop operation it will take log of k time because of the heap 5 process so if i'm doing it for one time it will take log of k time but assume that i'm doing it roughly for n elements so it will take n log k time so overall my approach that i'm applying here 
for one uh, like for one uh, pop or push the process will take log of k time because like because when i have to take an element out so that will take log of k time for restructuring the heap and if i'm doing this process for n indexes so this would take n log k time roughly okay which is very optimal because normal sorting takes n log n time whereas my heap process like min heap process is taking only n log k time which is much more optimal okay now after that still we have some elements remaining in the heap so whatever elements are there we'll take them out and put put them in our answer so we'll take out we'll put it in our answer then we'll take 9 out we'll put it in our answer we'll take 10 out and we'll put it in our answer okay and that is how finally my uh, answer is ready and you can see all the elements are sorted in the in the fashion where uh, like uh, the elements are in uh, uh, ascending order and which property we have used so we use the property that uh, no element is more than k distance away from its position so you can see that firstly i have these uh, like when i have uh, k like uh, four elements inside the heap i take the top out so i took two out and it was placed so basically in my heap i do not need to allow more than k elements uh, to be there at one point of time because every element is maximum k distance away from its position so when i'll pop that element out so the expected elements will come to their places okay so the time complexity for my code will be n log k because for one time the heapify process is taking log of k time so for n times when i'll repeat the same process it will it will roughly take n log k time and the space complexity will be order of k in my code because i'm using heap which is storing maximum k elements so let's quickly code this uh, out and see what we can do here so basically what we'll do here is you can see that the return type is basically void so uh, like what we should do here is we should basically uh, save the changes in the original array okay so what i can say here is that initially i can mark my uh, index also let's let's say i'll update an index variable initially at zero okay because i have to update the array also here uh, but uh, if i'm going to do that so let let's just do one thing so we'll do what we'll just write for int i starts from zero i is lesser than let's say arr dot length and then we'll do uh, sorry arr dot size okay and then we'll do what we'll do i plus plus here so we'll try to iterate throughout the array but before that we need a minimum heap so let's declare a minimum heap in our language so we'll write priority queue here p r i o r i t y q for the min heap okay priority queue int comma what vector int comma what greater int okay then after this we'll write pq here so this is the min heap that we have declared right now now after that what will happen is we'll basically say that we'll push what we'll push the ith element inside the heap and after pushing it what i should be checking is i'll check that if the like so i'll maintain an index variable let's say int index will be equal to zero so initially my index will start from zero that is from where i'll start updating in the array so like what i'll check is if the pq dot size if inside the priority queue there are more than k elements okay then what should i do in such a case i'll say that at my uh ans in my arr array uh, at this particular index i'll update the element that is pq dot top okay so i'll put the top element at this index and then i'll pop this out so i'll write pq dot pop here okay then after that what we are going to do is like uh, we need to update the index also so we'll do index plus plus as well so that we can move forward to the next index of the array also okay once this is done uh, so we are starting to update the elements from the zeroth index okay and after this what we'll do is we'll check that if the priority queue size is still greater than zero so since the priority will be will be having more elements so i need to push all of them inside the queue so what i'll write is i'll write arr of index is equal to what is equal to pq dot top and then after that i'll pop this particular element out as well and i need to update the index also so i'll write index plus plus now why am i doing it in the same array because the return type of this function is void okay so yeah we do not need to return anything because the return type is void so they will check the original array in the driver code so let's try and compile it and check if it is working fine or not it should it should work fine here okay so when i'm doing index plus plus it is giving me some error yeah i should write plus plus here now let's try and compile it it should work fine it is working fine on the samples let us submit this code and the code should get accepted here so you can clearly see that the code is getting accepted for all the test cases and i have discussed that the time complexity for my code will be n log k space complexity will be order of k because i'm using a heap also so i hope you have understood this problem in case if you have any doubts you can mention them in the comments and i'll reply to them as soon as possible thank you for watching this video and keep coding guys